to have you here, AJ. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. I was just jamming out to one of your songs and you are featured on the Warriors album. And the Warriors album, for people that don't know, is a compilation of amazing artists such as yourself who are looking to raise awareness about endometriosis. So thank you so much for devoting your time and your talent to endometriosis, which I think is a, a really noble cause and I'm very biased, but um, for the one in 10, it is. So thank you for that. Oh, I'm, I'm just glad to be part of it. How did you get involved in the Warrior album? So, so in all honesty, like I've heard, I heard of endometriosis, but I didn't really know exactly how much is, of it has affected so many women's lives. So we didn't really get that involved until um, we got reached out to. And so we, we got reached out to be part of this project and then we learned more about it and we, we uh, you know, recorded our song for the album. And since then we've just been trying to get more involved and we're gonna help do the benefit and, and we're really looking forward to that. What song did you give or, or have on this album? So we did a cover called Killing the Blues and it, it's just a really nice song. It's not one that we've written. Um, I learned the Sean Colvin version of it. She didn't write it, but she has a great version of it. And it's just like kind of a nice title, like killing the blues, like together, we're all just like, you know, killing the blues together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and anybody that has endometrios endometriosis knows that the blues can definitely get to you, that it's a hard, illness to deal with, to live with. And um, some days you do, you do suffer from bouts of sadness and feeling like, is this ever going to end? So it's, it's a great song title and very, very fitting. What was something when you said you were learning about endometriosis that you were surprised about? So I didn't realize that it's a condition that can affect any part of your body. It's not just like your reproductive organs. It's just like the tissues develop in different parts of your body. So like if you get it like in your lungs or like, you know, any vital organs and it's really, really detrimental. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, like very fatal sometimes. Well, it's a, it's a key takeaway because it's definitely extra pelvic. And like you said, it's not just in one location. It can it can spread similar to, to cancer. So um, yeah, that's, uh, it's always interesting to me for people who don't have the disease, but are learning about it, what kind of shocks them? Because I, I learned along my endo journey and I had a vested interest as an endo patient, but to hear people kind of, you know, take any kind of interest and see what was surprising is always, I think, very um, telling. Now, mm. your background is, I mean, you caught me play a lot of instruments. You're very, you know, multi-talented. What, um, what got you into the genre of kind of bluegrass meets country? <laughs> um so I've I've been playing music all my life uh my my mom's side of the family is very musical and my mom was you know she was very into country she like sang all sorts of genres of music but um when I was growing up she did do a lot of country like I heard a lot of Merle Haggard and like some Randy Travis and Beth Owens growing up um but like even a little bit outside the genre like a little bit of Bonnie Raitt like some soul mm. stuff like that so I was exposed to like kind of more grounded music really young in life. And bluegrass is very similar to country for those who don't know. I, I always explain bluegrass as like country without drums and a little bit quicker. So, and I learned to sing and play when I was probably like four or five years old. As soon as I could, she, my mom was just trying to so you were get to do something. So you were like Beethoven style. You were playing already at yeah. four years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not that good, but, but uh, yeah, I have been doing it a very long time. So what are some of the upcoming tour dates that you have? We know that you're performing at the Warriors concert that's upcoming. Um, after that, what do you have planned? Um, after that, uh, so we just, we tour all the time. So this, this whole, this week leading up to the benefit, we're going to be playing in Connecticut, West Virginia, Virginia, some festivals. And uh, I think we even have like a little like a little fly over to Colorado for our last little bit of the tour. So I think we're playing in Avon and then um, Sunday, I think it's probably just somewhere around here. I have to look at my tour schedule because we got so many things going on. It's always hard to keep track. Is that um, for you? I've heard, you know, touring can be a mixed bag. Some musicians love it. 
some not so much for you do you have a gypsy spirit where you really enjoy it or are you just like i want to be home <laughs> it really depends i think overall i love doing this job i love being able to play music with some of my best friends and we're all in the same boat it's just like what keeps us going is the love for the music and for each other and and the happiness it can bring to so many people like especially people who are uh, going through like maybe some sort of you know disease treatment or anything like that the joy that it can really bring to them um but you know there are pros and cons like the all the logistics like the traveling the booking the hotels the you know spending money on this and that and this and that that's the hard part but once you like get past that and just get to play the music and enjoy it that's just like one of the best feelings in the world what are you looking forward to for this uh upcoming performance with the others on the warriors album I mean, it'll be just really cool to see and meet new artists who we're, we're all unified by this cause. So we have something, you know, to to already just like be friends about, <laughs> like the little icebreaker. Oh, we're all here. We're all doing this thing. So I'm looking forward to meeting some other people. Yeah, that's great. Is there anyone in your life that you know has endometriosis or have you had any kind of tie or connection to the disease? Yeah, I do have one friend that I know of um, who has it and she's talked about it a little bit. I, I believe it's it's either like in I think it might be in her kidneys or in her back, but like the kidneys in the back is just like so tied together. So if it is in her kidneys, she's like every time that time of the month comes, she's always had like this terrible, terrible back pain. Oh. And I'm just like, wow, I had no idea that that you had this. And she actually recently found out about it. I want to say like just in in recent years mm -hmm. and she told me about it and I was like that sounds like kind of the worst thing ever I'm so sorry to go through that but I'm sure there are plenty of other women in my life who I just haven't talked to who have it and they might not even know themselves too because mm -hmm. as a woman then you know if you're if it's that time of the month it's like you feel this pressure to not have to like you know make a big deal about it because like it's just your period or whatever okay. she, like everyone has it or like everyone goes through it so that's why I, I would want to be more open about talking to my my lady friends and, you know, just be like, yeah, you know what, you might have something a little bit more than I do or what other people have. So spreading the awareness is really good to start the conversation. Yeah, no, and you're right. And that starts with an open dialogue, almost of comparing notes, because when you just think, as you said, like in the great air quotations, when it's just a period, you're not really sure because you're like, well, this is my period. So I just thought it was crippling pain that last X amount of time. Oh no, really? You don't, you're not supposed to vomit when you have a period. Didn't know that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so you're right. It's, it's, um, it's definitely about opening a dialogue, bringing out awareness. And, and like you said, using music as a tool to educate, advocate, and also for healing. So thank you for your time today. Thank you for your time on this upcoming concert, especially with your busy schedule. Um, very excited and and for taking, you know, a stand and using your voice not only to do beautiful melodies, <laughs> but also to spread awareness. Yeah, well, anything I can do to help, I'm glad to do it and and gonna be having fun while doing a good thing. Thank you.